So I'm sure you've all felt like this at some point where you call customer service and it's a simple query but you're just kept on the phone and you feel like just throwing your phone somewhere. What we're seeing today is there's a lot of inconsistent replies. So you as a user, when you call for a query, a lot of times you have to call back, speak to another agent, repeat your story, repeat yourself. It's very frustrating. As a bank, it could mean that not all of your agents are adhering to FCA guidelines. They could be replying, there are uh, very strict regulations around advice, so they might not be following that. You're left on the phone for a very long time. This means that as a client, of course, you're very frustrated, but as a bank, they're spending a lot of money to actually have those services for you. There's also a lot of lost sales because of dropouts. People get frustrated, they, are, they tend to hang up, and they tend to try to switch. So for a bank, this is a big problem. I think we're on to something, though. We have Enterprise Bot. So what we do at Enterprise Bot is we use artificial intelligence and advanced technology to provide banks a medium whereby they can talk to their customers wherever the customers want them to be and at all times. So we can put this technology up on the bank's website, inside the mobile app, even on Facebook if you'd like. So our value proposition really is that you can now reply to your customers 85 times faster. Today, we see that on an average, a bank takes 300 seconds to service every single query. With Enterprise Bot, you can do this in 3.5 seconds. You also see that we can do this in, at 40% of the cost. Today, banks spend close to four pounds for just one single call. With Enterprise Bot, we charge you less than two pounds for it. Here is a conversation with one of the bots that we've made for a pilot in India. So here you can see the customer goes ahead and in natural language says, I've lost my card. The bot goes ahead, confirms their identity. Not only does it do that, it also goes ahead and um, asks the customer if they would like to view some transactions to make sure there's been no fraud. Here, there's an API call that will be made soon where you can see all of the transactions in real time. This is our real data. Um, at the bottom, you can even see the smart suggest. So if you're using it from your mobile devices, you can go ahead and just tap on block credit card or show different types of credit cards. You don't even need to type the query. You can even use voice, we've already done that. And here you can see that banks have actually gone ahead and customized the UI as per what they want to show their clients. So it's really, really good. Clients know exactly what they're uh, getting through this. So I'm sure that you've all heard that it's a very crowded space. There's a lot of AI, NLP, chatbots. So it is a very big market. So we have digital service assistants that are already at 24 billion pounds today. But this is meant to grow three times just by 2020. And so how do we really stand out in this space? We've been really focused on the financial industry. We have about 3 million data points just in retail banking and insurance. This makes us very accurate. Also, there's another company that you might hire to not get fired. What makes us different from them is that we do an end-to-end -end implementation. This means that we don't give you a tech platform that you then have to put in resources, you have to put in time, you have to put in a lot of money to actually train it to an accuracy. Instead, we give you a solution that works for your business problem on day one and it's accurate. We also use a lot of machine learning to give you smart suggestions at the bottom. So that was a product actually from our pilot where we saw that the engagement went up by 40% just by adding those buttons because now people kind of know what to do with the conversation rather than just starting off with a bot. So uh, the bot can make suggestions and predict actions based on what the user is saying. I'm sure that as a financial company, you might also have a question that what happens when the bot is not able to answer to my questions. So in that case, we have a seamless handoff to a live agent. So we can hook up to the API. Usually it's a Zendesk or a live chat or a live bank that banks are already using. We can just use an API to integrate with that and we give you a live agent response right away. So as an end user, you don't know what's going on in the back end, but uh, you have a real person replying to your queries then. We also give you a dashboard where uh, the agents can actually see chat transcripts so that they have an idea of what the conversation has been and the banks can actually and the management can actually go through the reports to see how well the technology is working. None of, so in just three months through Startup Bootcamp being here, we've had 32 conversations with financial companies in Europe. We've already demoed to about 13 and that number is growing every day and we already have five POCs. So for the first time here at Demo Day, I'm really proud to announce to you that we're working on something with Lloyds Banking Group. We're doing something with Rainbow Bank. 
We have been working with uh, a tier one French bank. We've also been working with HDFC Bank in India, which is one of the largest private banks there. And we're also working with Afterpay, which is a Bertelsmann company. None of this would have been possible without our ACE team. So we have about 10 people on our team. Here is our CEO, Pranay. So Pranay brings to the table Finn and Tech. He has been in the financial industry and he's an avid technologist. I head a business development and day-to-day -day operations. And we have Sandeep in the corner here who has more than a decade of experience in natural language processing, machine learning, and uh, recommendation engines. But we really needed the gray hair. So here is our amazing advisory board. So without this advisory board, none of this would have been possible today. So these are people that have helped us when we came in three months ago, not knowing what we're getting ourselves into. They helped us make the right, get the right introductions, understand from people what exactly they want, and help us make a product that actually solves the problem rather than something we're trying to push onto clients. What we're looking for today is help on the sales front. So if you are someone who has some experience in the B2B side, we have a very mature pipeline and we would love to have a conversation with you about that. Uh, we're also looking to raise a pre-series A round of 1.5 million pounds. And if you're interested either as an SEIS, EIS investor or as a venture capitalist fund, we're willing to talk to you for that. And here are my contact details, happy to answer questions. Thank you.